Wine Chase has a new GUI now, so let's check that one out. Um, let's see here. Alright, so this is the new GUI, and it's much more, like, I guess, uh, more simplified with categories and all that. So, you can see that um, you can install an app, benchmark, games, and select your, you know, default wine prefix. And it's pretty much the same thing. You select the one that you want. So let's go in here. You know, select the package. And whether it says, you know, downloads over here, like with this part, if it says downloads, it'll just grab it off the internet. And that's, that's that, okay? Otherwise, if it says CD or DVD or something like that, then you need to have the official uh, disk, I guess. And then you put it in and it'll install it. Uh, just follow the screen. Um, that's it. That's all you gotta do in here. Uh, same thing for the benchmarks. You know they have some benchmark tools here. And the games here. This is the new one. Um, it was actually a separate project. It was called the Winsel Tool, and mainly it was just to install games. Um, but now they they merge it into just Wine Tricks, and it makes a lot of sense. Instead of having two separate projects, they can just put it into one. Okay. So if you install the game, um, mainly it's just demos here. You know, the demos you can grab off the internet for free. Uh, they do have some other ones, like the, the official ones. If it says like DVD or something like that, um, then those are like the official ones. So you pop in your DVD and just follow the on screen and it should install your game. But m mainly in here is just the demos. Um, you know, it's better than nothing. Just put, uh, you know, just try out the, the demos and play it. And if you dig it, then you know, buy it, I guess. Uh, so let's go cancel that. So that was the Winsel tool for the games. Um, and now they have this thing called select uh, your default wine prefix. It kind of doesn't make sense when they they name it like this because you can't really select your your default, or you can't change your you know your wine prefix. Um, if you don't know what wine prefix is, let me give you uh, an example here. <clears throat> so my default one, uh, my default wine prefix is this folder, okay, the dot wine folder. Now you can have multiple folders of wine, and um, some people do that. Like I know Sedega, they call it wine bottles, and basically uh, one, uh, you know, wine prefix does not affect the other because when you're doing like uh, some tweaking or whatever it might mess up the other games or other programs so that's why they have different folders for uh, a certain application or a game and that was like their method and I even I think even um, play on Linux does this too they have different wine prefix uh, for everything you install but in here it says you can change it to a different wine prefix but I didn't really see any settings that you can change it okay you're just using one only here and you can change the settings within that default that you have which is this wine folder but let's see here so you, ha you can install some missing DLL components this is mainly if you install games then you use this one a lot like I have um, uh, so something that's new here I, I believe this is new the checkboxes uh, is highlighted okay before uh, even if you have it installed it was not highlighted so you can see that now they highlight all the ones that I have installed already uh, so all this uh, DLL crap that I have right uh, it doesn't mean that you uncheck it that means you uninstall it no it doesn't mean that one okay it just highlights the one that you have installed you uncheck it, it doesn't do nothing it's not doesn't mean uninstall but that's how you do this and if you go to like the wine database or whatever they'll probably tell you that you're missing you know whatever DLL or .NET or whatever uh, and, and this is where you go to install it from the GUI that's pretty it. Installing fonts and what is this here? Change settings? What is this? Yeah this is just uh, you know the changing pixels or whatever the shaders not that important here and this is to one the wine config basically is this thing where you can change your operating system versions that you can emulate I guess uh, other things task manager uh, even the, the reg 
you know edit here you sometimes have to use this too if you know your games don't run like I did this one for Assassin's Creed I guess uh, so there you go that's that um, so let's go back and that's all I really got these other things just like it has to deal with uh, DRM I don't have any of that and the silent install not a big deal but that's wine uh, tricks and they have the new thing called the wine sill tool or the windsill tool and that's for the games now if you want to uh, get this uh, last night I showed you was the repositories for Ubuntu that came with a package but if you want to manually get this <coughs> let's do this here oh yeah so this was the Winslow tool it used to look like this or it's mainly the same thing but you know um, so they tell you to use this was a W get um, wine tricks to get it so let's do that um, if, if you know you're gonna do this uh, manually uh, so say for example uh, let's do this in the, the desktop and I just paste that sucker right and I just download it for me here and you're gonna select the permissions go to go to properties a lot executing pretty much that's it uh, so you when you run it now say run in terminal or just run so you run in terminal and it should pop the same thing that I show you earlier right you know all this stuff here uh, so that's how that works if you're gonna do it manually but um, what I would recommend is that you have a uh, you know an alias for it so what's it called wine tricks <clears throat> so I have like two aliases for it so one is just you know where my wine tricks is located at by default and I put it into this folder my wine tricks folder in the wine tricks program here uh, the other one is just to um, <clears throat> the other one is just to uh, you know download automatically so you can see that I cd into the folder here uh, remove the file the the old file and then download it again right and then give it permissions uh, and that's it that's how I would uh, run it uh, if I need a new version it's much better this way because you know the, the Ubuntu one they don't always update like um, the wine tricks um, script and if you do it this way it's from the guy that, that actually made it uh, and it does work for like you know all the distributions instead of just going to launchpad that's only connected to Ubuntu base so do something like that if you want it that's it for this one <clears throat>